Well, welcome back. We're still at it. I think this one here must be a female. Oh, what it is. Kind of, kind of ornery. Stubborn. He, she's going to start jumping here in a second, coming up on top. I hope so. There, there she goes. Is. There she is. All right. Look at her. <laughs> now, is this like is this like a tarpon? You got to bow to them, or yeah, it's a good idea. I think with any of the jumping fish, that's probably a good plan. The first sailfish I ever caught. Okay, the first two sailfish I ever caught. This would make number three. <laughs> hey, but the first two I caught were well, one of them caught in about 15 seconds because Ron just motored up to him while he was splashing on top, and the other one, same deal, is about 12 seconds. I gotta pay attention from this end of it to make sure that line stays out there. They're so fast, they could be back there in a heartbeat. This one sure got some tug to him, Norm. It's, I've only had one or two fish pull these eight footers like this. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, it's also a nice thing with those those circle hooks. It, it, it doesn't really hurt the fish. Yeah. Because it's usually right in the corner of the mouth. It also, there you know, goes. they aren't hooked. Yeah! There you go, you're still good. I like to keep them out there on that offshore side. You can just because we can see them so much better. Oh, yeah, I can see him in the water there. Remember, remember, billfish I think I know of, they have a tendency to run straight into the sun. <laughs> so straight into the sun or straight into the wind. At least the seas did calm down for us a little. Yeah. There he goes. Oh, there he nice. Goes. You know, with my limited knowledge of uh, sail fishing, Norm, I just, I guess I never gave it enough time. You just got to put your time in and put your time into them. It's kind of tough there because off Canaveral you'd be sail fishing, you have a school of dolphin come by. And you say, ooh, breakfast. Yeah, that's nothing wrong with picking up a little breakfast while you're in the process. Yeah, just take your time on it. Take your time. You can get in a hurry with them, and bad things can happen. That's with any fish. Yeah, you get like in a hurry, fish. bad things can happen. Coming up right there. All right. Nice. Nice. But if you didn't catch where we were earlier in the show, we're sitting off of Hope Sound right now, which is just south of Stewart and just north of Jupiter Inlet. And, uh, Norm's been here a couple years now. I guess he's got them figured out. It don't take him long. <laughs> no, I guarantee you I don't have them figured out. Not even close. But you get out here and splash around enough, every now and then you do get lucky. You yeah. Know? Come on. How long has it been since you've been on a 22-foot boat, Norm? I was trying to think. Other than a kayak that was in down in Costa Rica, I think it's about 30 years, maybe 35. <laughs> but the only time I've been in a boat this size was getting a boat to go to a boat. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's dinghy off their sports fishing boat. Is he taken? Not really. Just kind of sitting there. That's such a weird feeling on that line. I think he's wrapped around it. There he is. All right. With these sailfish out here, I mean, it's really easy to come out here and spend a lot of time before you catch one, but, but once you do that, once you get that fish hooked up, it is worth all that time and effort, I guarantee you, because they are exciting fish, particularly on a light tackle, they air it out pretty good. You know, anybody that ever comes to the shows that I'm at and I have these rods on display and talking about them, I've been them over that much for them right there, and they're like, wow, that's a lot of pressure. Now with the capacity that those reels have, the person, you know, you've got to be pretty well prepared as you were to take the boat and maybe do a little chasing yeah. on these kind of fish. Because they can't take off a lot of line in a rush. Yeah, that was mayhem there for a minute. <laughs> okay, now here's, here's where it can get a little critical. Yeah, he's tail wrapped. Oh yeah, we need to get him as quick as we can. Tail wrap, that ain't good. That's not good. Well, I think he just came undone. And uh, I'm gonna try to put it back out there off that corner. There's tail wrap. It's all right, I'll bring him in backwards. I don't know where I gotta go to get away from him. Right you're okay, now. you're okay. Oh, well, you're all right. That's a big sailfish to bring in backwards. <laughs> Yeah, I got, it. I got him in idle right now. We can back down. Yeah, back down on him here. Just a little bit now. Yeah. I don't guess that's one you want to grab his tail, do you? Hey, you don't really want to grab his tail. No. He's still coming by and piercing your ears. Oh yeah, that wouldn't be good. Uh. 
Got a little sweat worked up on me. This is the critical path. This is the critical path. They can go from where they are to where you don't want them to be so fast. Yeah, he's back on the he's back in the mouth now. Good, that's gonna make it a lot easier to handle at the boat. I might have to talk to old Bob Brown in the cape to get this one on the wall. You know, when you wait this long for one, there isn't any bad ones. Uh-uh. But that's a that's a nice one. That is a big duck on sailfish. That's a big Atlantic, huh? Just a second. That's him. Man. Good God, look at that sail. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to cut it right there. All right, cut. All righty. There touch, he is. Let me touch my sail. Yeah, there you go. You can put her in gear? And... Yeah. Woo, baby. Look at that. That is one pretty Still fish, isn't it? baby. All right. Nice. Nice fish. What a beauty. How much you think there? Oh, he's up there. 60, 70 pounds, I think. What's the average size sailfish? Yeah, down much. here, I see an awful lot of them. They're 40, 50 pounds. That's bigger than that. That's that's a little bigger sailfish. Yeah, he's my biggest. I can he's a healthy that. specimen, I guarantee you that. A beautiful fish. He is a beautiful fish. We can just mosey along here a little bit and start swishing some water through his gills. Okay. Kind of revive him a little. What's the, what is the revival time on the, how long does it usually take? Or is nah, it, just... it depends on the fish, how tired he is, but usually, you know, you, you swim around like that for a few minutes and you, you'll feel him kind of pick up, start kicking, and time yeah, to turn him yeah. loose. Yeah, he's starting to kick now. Fastest fish in the ocean, baby, right here. It'll make a believer out of you when you watch that line melting off the reel. <laughs> Man, I had, I probably had three or four cranks left on that, on that reel. That was and getting that close. Was back, that was 10 pound test backing on there. What a beautiful fish. Why haven't I targeted these things more? <laughs> that was a fight. Now, if you don't ever get a chance to come and do this, I know you hear me say this on every one of my shows, but this, this was a, this was a treat, I tell you. Ready? Carry on, baby. Okay, go out and make a little sailfish. Make a bunch of little sailfish. Yeah. That was pretty awesome, Norm. Good job I'll, on that. I'll do that anytime yeah, you want to get that. me down here, brother. I'll tell you what. That is awesome. Once You're again, y'all ever get a chance, we're in Hope Sound. Jupiter, West Palm Beach, this whole area up and down the whole East Coast, down to the Keys, loaded with sailfish. What is it, the months from like October? The, the absolute banner months start like in, in November and uh, through through uh, February, it's when they're really big numbers. But they're here all year round. I mean, yeah. we, I've caught them here pretty much all year round. People catch them but in the But the summertime. concentrations seem to be through the winter time. Cold fronts come down, they come down with them. Oh yeah, well, we got a cold front hitting us here probably in about four hours. So <laughs> we're gonna put the lines out. We're gonna see if we can get another one on. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with some more addictive fishing. Captain Norm Isaacs from Hawaii, down in Hope Sound now, showing me how to sail fish. Yeah, we'll, not be, really. <laughs> we'll be right back. Let's go, then. Stay tuned folks, because up next, we're gonna show you how to rig it right for these sailfish.